So I look like crap, but I just arrived in Macau and it's my hometown, but I'm not staying in my home, as you can see. This is Four Seasons Hotel and I'm just gonna show you guys around because it's a beautiful. So the room tour begins right here. So you got the toilet, which I was just there and the nice little bathtub with the full-on mirror um, so you can see yourself naked, check yourself out and this, the toilet okay then we got this wardrobe situation and the bed with my baby <laughs> um yeah it's just really nice here so pretty and it's so cute and then i also got the yukata i don't really know why but we got the yukata and some nice little skincare products and some scrubbing stuff which probably we should use after 12 hours of flying got the espresso machine some tea here with like some little flowers just cute some sort of like rose tea or some goji berries looks nice um the tv and we got the lounge area and this is probably my favorite bit right now because they also gave us a hey we knew the porto because it used to be a portuguese colonial macau in case you didn't know and there's a little card for us, we got some fruits and this is like a traditional Macanese Chinese little cookie. We got pastel de nata, obviously, and serradura. This looks fucking lit. So now we're gonna show you this fucking amazing view. Shoot. Oh, that one as well, please. Okay. <laughs> Bro, so pretty. So we got the um, Eiffel Tower, do it! We got the Eiffel Tower. This is a Chinese the version colors. of it. <laughs> yeah, the, the color. colors. Some of you guys hate like the Eiffel Tower with less sparkling. <laughs> this one is next level stuff. <laughs> um, but it's like a really nice view. I mean, I love it. And then you got the Parisian Hotel. I mean, this is the Parisian Hotel, this whole thing. Game. So it's really pretty. And obviously, usually when I'm coming back home, I don't really stay in a hotel, obviously. Like, I never stayed in a hotel here in Macau. So this is a nice little change. So basically, the next day, we went to the new MGM in Macau and we went out for lunch with my dad and we went to this place called Aji. It's basically a Peruvian um, fusion with Japanese food. They do quite a lot of seafood and everything was really cool and different and everything was just really yummy. This was Wagyu Carpaccio and it was fucking amazing. And for dinner, we went to my favorite Japanese restaurant back home. It's called Yamazato. They do basically a lot of really fancy and beautiful, beautiful looking um, dishes. And they're just really like the best quality. They got one Michelin star and everything is just so fresh, so yummy. I don't really know what happened to this cup of footage. It's kind of like flashing a bit but hopefully you guys enjoyed this footage and this was my favorite favorite dish this was udon with uni sea urchin and it was just so good it was made from heaven i swear hi guys so today is my third day in macau i've only been vlogging some food because i still feel quite awkward vlogging outside but i'll try my best today to show you bits and i'll also insert some of my instagram posts and tomorrow we're gonna go to hong kong so i'll be with my boyfriend which is there hello hi 
it's a mess in the room. So now we're gonna go for lunch with my dad. We're gonna have dim sum finally. Been craving for it a lot. And that's gonna be the first proper dim sum experience for this Italian boy. And that's my dad. Um, my dad just got me this cup of white strawberries. They are Japanese. They are pretty fragrant and very nice. Like most Japanese strawberries, they're pretty sweet. And he also got us this Japanese grapes, which are so nice. You have to try it if you never tried it. They are quite pricey, but they are nice. And I still got the nice little view here. We are just at the MGM for some dim sum and this is probably one of my favorite place as well for dim sum the quality is really nice and yeah everything was just really yummy what is your favorite dim sum dish and this is the chicken feet that a lot of you guys hate I know but I love them <laughs> this is a cute little dish and we also got some noodles there's a lot of food my dad likes to other a lot of food and this is actually a dessert a sesame rolls and that's uh, almond milk with some egg whites and inside the MGM, it's actually quite an interesting place. They got a gigantic aquarium and all this sort of whimsical installations of art. It is quite an interesting contrast with the background that's pretty like European. And yeah, I think it's cool. It's quite fun. And this is actually really funny. It's a pot to sleep, to rest. Okay, so it's raining, so he's holding the umbrella. <laughs> and this street used to be, I mean, all of the doors are actually red and the windows as well. So basically, this used to be the old uh, prostitution red light district, but now it's just stores, as you can see. And yeah, it's just really cute for pictures. We just got here in our new hotel in Hong Kong. It's the Peninsula and the little room tour. Everything's like super high tech here. Basically everything is controlled by the iPad and that little foam looking like thingy. And we got a bit of like the sakura tree at the wall. Like the amenities are just uh, here. And also the coffee machine is concealed there, which is pretty cool. It's also... I think you also use the little iPad thingy to control it, I guess. Don't really know. Not sure why this is in Japanese, but... Labro is always on the phone. I wanted to do for the button, Jan's bunk shit. Well, got the chilling area here. They gave us some... Um, Mandarins, no chocolate, not as great as the Four Seasons. And then we got the toilet. The toilet. I really like the sort of um, bathtub. And it's me again. And it's good that it's like one side for him and one side for me, so he doesn't bother me when I'm doing my makeup. And we also got the iPad thing here. I don't know why it's in Japanese. I think that's because my dad said that my country of origin is Japan, which is not really. It's just my dad is Japanese. <laughs> so we got the Oscar de la Renta sort of um, body shower gel and conditioner, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, what do you guys say? Try my new shoes on. 
Try a new shoes on. And we already bought a lot of stuff. I bought like four bags already in two hours, which is a lit. A record. It's not a record. A word record. It's not. We are actually staying at the more historic, older part of the hotel. They have like a new built behind it, but this is more the original. So yeah, it's more like historical. It's a little, so the amenities and maybe like the size is not as new as the, as the Four Seasons, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's one of the most famous in Hong Kong and it's my first time visiting here. But as you know, I grew up in Macau and I go to Hong Kong a lot, but I've never been here even like for coffee or stuff so it's just really cool the downstairs the lobby is like super pretty so we are gonna go for high tea in our last day and i'm really looking forward to that So we decided to stay here. The Italian vlog. <laughs> Breakfast time. I love crabs a lot. And you don't want to be there. <laughs> bro. So yeah, just waiting for the food and I'm already feeling super hangry. Started giving shit to him right when I woke up. I'm having the Chinese breakfast with the kanji, dim sum and some noodles and he is doing the juice the cleanse breakfast. juice cleanse three juice and the just the scramble eggs and three pieces of potatoes and two eggs four and two tomatoes yeah mine is much better obviously looking morning guys so today is our full day in Hong Kong so I decided to just maybe show you a little unboxing because I want to use this bag and I just bought it yesterday I actually got two bags but I'm only gonna unbox one so today we're just gonna walk around Hong Kong maybe do some more shopping and I'm gonna show him some views last night we went up to this bar called Felix it was pretty nice the view was pretty nice as well and the drinks were so good I only had two cocktails but I felt like I was already quite tipsy after those two Cocktails? <laughs> was I not a bit? Yeah, slightly. I was a bit. Not like drunk, but I was a bit. Okay, so we got my box. So in the beginning, I actually wanted to get their pearl, like the bags with the pearl, but they were sold out in all Hong Kong and Macau. That is the bag that I bought from yesterday. The craftsmanship is just really beautiful. It's black and white with some beige. So this probably will go with a lot of different outfits and it's very summery as well. And yeah, just really love it. And all the hardwares are still gold. And this is the mini version of the classic flap. And yeah, the inside is just white. It's just really classy. I really like it. And they also have one in blue, which is really nice too. That one is like even more summery, but I guess it's a little bit harder to like match with clothes. And we all know I'm more into like black and white bags and I usually wear them more often. So this is the bag that I'm gonna use today. It's actually quite long as you can see here. It's quite long for me, so I'll probably have to just tie a knot or just get a clasp inside to sort of make it shorter. So just tie to the little knot, that's how it looks. And I actually already bought like four bags already, so I'll have a haul once I get a bag to Linden. And we're just gonna go out for a walk now and hopefully it's not gonna rain. But He haven't slept much, so we're just trying to be chill today. And it was nice to take the boat, right? Very nice. 
Very nice. And you want to shop. There's no doubt I want to be chilled. You, you want to be chilled as well. And we're just going to stay inside indoors basically and then just wait for my dad uh, to take us out for dinner. And yeah, I'm just going to do a little shopping and we'll see. So my Chinese is not that good when it comes to reading, but I'm pretty sure that this Chinese thing down there, um, right next to mine, is like saying some bad stuff about someone. <laughs> Forgot to film this drink. It's just really cute. He's apple spritz again, as usual. I don't even remember what this is, but it's just a really cute cup. And for dinner, I met with my dad. I mean, we met with my dad. And we went to this Japanese yakiniku place, which is a Japanese barbecue. So they do wagyu, and the best wagyu are the A5. So we got a couple of pieces of that as well. And everything was so yummy. Um, to be honest, I'm not a huge beef fan but my boyfriend is so that's why we went there and he loved it and it was really good too even though it's not my favorite thing to eat but it was great Last day in Hong Kong flying tonight and um, he's still packing as usual, the last minute packer. So I'm just chilling here. You should go pack. Um, yeah, I'm just chilling and we're gonna walk around a bit more again today. The weather's not the best, but it's very like foggy today. So we are at this super Instagrammable in some place called Yum Chat. It's a lot of you guys have seen it. And this one was like stalking people on the other side when they were boxing. How cute is this place though, the little fish? And we also just got two little phone case because they have a tasty pie actually in Hong Kong. So we just bought it. The um, personalization was not available, so we just got this one. This one's for me. That is for this one that is drinking the fucking beer at the Tim Sum place. just went for afternoon tea at the peninsula it was nice to just chill before our flight and that concludes my Hong Kong and Macau trip it was so 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 nice to show my boyfriend around and I had so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please do like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video